greyhounds, seemingly similar to other dogs, but very different when closely examined. My greyhound is four years old and weighs 100 pounds. His name is Aaron, spelled A-A-Ron, after Aaron Dobson, an NFL football player. His entire litter was named after Patriots players. Yes, my family are hardcore Colts fans, but he came with his name and he knew it well, so he didn't bother to change it. However, if you ever get a greyhound of your own, you will need to know a few things. Let's get started with a few of these situations. Greyhounds love to eat, just like any other dog. But you have to start with a raised food and water dish. Because of the height of greyhounds, it will hurt them to bend over so far over time. The raised dishes will make it easier for them to eat and drink. Feed them one cup of dry dog food in the morning when you wake up, and feed them one cup of dry dog food in the evening. You should be able to see the ribs of the dog at all times. So if you cannot, lessen the amount of food you are giving them. The amount will slightly differ depending on the greyhound. In addition to the food, make sure the water bowl is full at all times as well. You want to make sure your greyhound is well hydrated. It is obvious to tell when your greyhound is cold because they will most often curl up in a ball like so. Place a blanket over them and they will warm right up. My dog has his own blanket. When walking him in the winter, he must wear a coat to keep him warm. Their skin or coat is a lot thinner than other dogs. They get really cold really fast and really hot really fast. Because their skin is so thin, they also get cuts really easily. My dog has had several injuries before. Do not disturb your greyhound while they're asleep. They may wake up startled and react slightly aggressive. They're also known to sleep with their eyes open. This can make it hard to judge whether they're sleeping or not. Just be gentle when approaching them. Greyhounds are famous for their so-called dead dog pose, and it looks like this. They really do look like a dead dog, but they're just asleep. If your greyhound is running around your living room like this, take them outside, but before you do, make sure you either have a fenced in yard or a leash. They will easily run away and will be hard to catch because of their speed. Their top speed is around 45 miles per hour, but my backyard is large, so my greyhound can run like a bullet. Piece of advice, watch out for flybys. Greyhounds often run at you and it will seem as if they will hit you, but they never do. They get very close, but turn ever so slightly at the very last second. It can be terrifying, but remember to relax and have fun. If you choose to take your greyhound on a walk instead, you must wrap the leash around your wrist in a certain way so that it does not fall off easily, but it will come off when needed. Place the leash through the looped part like this. The greyhounds can easily pull you down if they see another animal on the walk too. Trust me, I speak from experience. I face planted in the grass after he saw a neighbor's cat once. This step right here is a step not to miss. You must establish dominance on the walk too. You cannot let the greyhound pull you wherever you want he wants to go. You should be guiding him, not the other way around. Greyhounds love to play like every other dog. But they love to play with toys. However, these toys will not last very long at all. They will be torn up in a matter of days at the most. Be aware that greyhounds can jump very high. My greyhound will jump up to appear to be almost six feet tall. They will want to get the toys from your hand, so be ready to dodge them, but be ready to have fun too. That is the gist of caring for a greyhound. As you can see, they are very different from other dogs. To recap, make sure you feed the dog twice a day Keep the water dish full, provide a coat in the winter, take caution while they're sleeping, establish dominance on the walk, and remain patient through it all.